Shalom family. Our president is concentrating all his energy on building a wall to keep harmless immigrants out. While Russia and China are building missiles and actually preparing as if they about to start a World War III. Interesting, huh? We're working on a wall and they're working on missiles. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I got proof. Listen to this article here. Okay. The first article I want to share with you is this one here. Russia to deploy precision strike missiles in Western Atlantic. Russia is deploying long range precision cruise missiles to the Western Atlantic that American defense officials say will allow Moscow to target Washington and other East Coast cities with conventional or nuclear attacks. Moscow is aiding caliber land attacks cruise missiles to both warships and missile submarines that Moscow plans to use in Atlantic Atlantic patrols near the United States. Sorties that were once routine during the Cold War. The new sea-based deployments are expected in the coming months. According to the officials familiar with the intelligence reports of the Russian maritime operations. The land attack versions known as the SSN-30A by NATO is a relatively new weapon and was showcased in the first time for the first time by Moscow in attacks on Syria that began in 2015. Russia has stated that over a hundred missile strikes were carried out against Islamic territories and against anti-Syrian government rebels. The Office of Naval Intelligence in 2015 said that the caliber is deployed on Russia's new Savar Vince class nuclear attack submarine, as well as older submarines and surface warships. A total of 32 calibers can be launched from missile tubes on the new submarine. Nuclear armed calibers will be deployed on Russia's new Bori class missile submarines as well as the attack submarines. Most of Russia's surface warships and many coastal vessels are being outfitted with the long range missile. The missile is considered very lethal because it flies close to the sea surface. Frustrating efforts to detect and strike the missile with anti-missile systems. Are you hearing this? Russia plans to deploy caliber capability on all new design construction of nuclear and non-nuclear submarines, corvettes, frigates, and larger surface ships. The only said in the report noting the missile gives even the modest vessels significant offense capability. So you mean to tell me you can install these missiles on a modest vessel? This is some, some really crazy stuff that's going on. And it does it does make you nervous because it sounds like they're getting prepared for World War III. But really they're probably getting prepared for Armageddon. Okay. It says the proliferation of the of this capability with the new Russian Navy Navy is profoundly changing its ability to deter, threaten, or destroy adversary targets. The missile also comes in anti-ship and anti-submarine variants. Wow. According to Oni, land attack missile has a range of between 930 miles and 1500 miles. Wow. I mean, it sounds like Russia got their high tech together as it relates to missiles and things like that, right? It says this range means a ship or submarine located a thousand miles off the U.S. coast 
could target all American cities stretching from Boston to Miami and as far as west as Chicago as far west as Chicago wow so here we get our president is study trying to get a wall you know those immigrants I hate those immigrants let's keep those immigrants out right and why we need a wall and then you have Russia sitting up saying uh, who cares about immigrants let's make some more missiles <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute. it goes a little further right watch this okay you think that's scary now I'm gonna get another article this to this one here Putin prepares to deploy invincible hypersonic missile system in the new year. The Russian leader who has declared the avant system invulnerable to the U.S. defenses. Mm, mm, mm. So the United States can't even touch it, can't deal with it, right? Announces its imminent deployment after its first test. The trials took place in the Russian Far Eastern region at the Kura Missile Test Range and were deemed a complete success. He said, on my instructions, the Industrial Enterprise and the Defense Ministry have prepared for a carried out and final test of this system. Starting from next year, the new strategic system, Avangard, will enter service in the Russian army and the first regiment of the strategic missile troops will be deployed. It's a big moment in the life of armed forces and in the life of the country. Russia has obtained a new type of strategic weapon. Listen to this, I'm gonna keep reading, I want you to hear this. Then it says, the Avogad is invulnerable to interception by any existing and prospective missile defense means of the potential adversary. This will reliably ensure the security of our state and our people for decades to come. It is a wonderful, excellent gift for the country for the new, for the new year. Wow. <laughs> the Avangard is a strategic intercontinental ballistic missile system equipped with a guiding hypersonic maneuvering warhead. So basically they're trying to tell you here that they have a very advanced weapon system as far as missiles and they're deploying it in the Atlantic area so that the United States they can strike Washington DC and all of those areas as far as Chicago big cities if they wanted to and the United States can't do nothing about it wow and why we need a wall and why we need a wall and why we need a wall like I said our president trying to build a wall that wall why are you gonna build that wall <laughs> how high are you gonna build that wall because you need a very high wall to stop this kind of stuff right okay now let's go a little further I want you to see this other article here, right? This article here is called China Orders Armed Forces to Enhance Combat Readiness. Chinese President Xi Jinping, Jinping on Friday ordered the country's armed forces to enhance their combat readiness and develop an even stronger military presence. Mm. So you get... Russia's rearing up for some, right? And you get China both rearing up for something too, right? And we know they both work together, okay? Which the United States don't work with anybody hardly, right? Now watch this. It says, XE gave the instructions at the meeting of the Central Military Commission in Beijing, reports state owned news portal Xenio. The world is facing a period of major changes not seen for a century and China is still in an important period of strategic opportunity for development. He said, before warning that various risks and challenges were on the rise, 
Nancy then went on to say that the entire armed forces should have a correct understanding of China's security and development trends and that they should enhance their awareness of danger, crisis, and war. Wow. They talking war. You hear this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He noted that the combat capability is the, on, is the only and fundamental criterion uh, all, all works, forces, and resources are to focus on military preparedness to ensure marked progress in this regard. The president, this, the president required. Finally, Exe asks the armed forces to upgrade to combat capability of the joint operations, foster new combat forces, and improve military training under combat conditions. The world is facing a major change not seen for centuries. You hear that? And so this is why they're rearing up for things like this. We got to do this. We got to get ready, right? Now I want to share something with you here, right? I want you to think about the script here because really we see them get, I'm going to tell you right now, World War III ain't going to happen. I know people say this, we get ready for World War III, let's get ready, let's get ready. Trust me, the scriptures according to prophecy, World War III can't happen right now, okay? It cannot happen right now. They may call it a World War III, but the scripture call it Armageddon. And you know what they're really preparing their weapons for? I got a scripture, I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to show you. They are preparing their weapons for this here. So if they getting ready with their weapons to do something, right? Get all getting ready. Watch this, right? Scripture tells you in the book of Revelations. Let's go there. Okay, I want you to see this scripture here in Revelations chapter 19. And we're going to go here. Now, uh, mind you, this is after the marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay? Now, and it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Okay? And in righteousness doeth he judge and make war. We know it's talking about the Mashiach, Yahushua HaMashiach, right? His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had the name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of Elohim. The Word of Yah. That's Yahushua, right? And the armies which were in the heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean, right? And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword and with it he shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with an eye with a rod of or with a rod of iron and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of the almighty Elohim so Yahusha is going to bring the wrath of Elohim Okay, watch this. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh the name written, King of Kings, Master of Masters. And I saw the angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, To all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather ye selves unto the supper of the great Yahuwah that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and them that sat on them and the flesh of all men both free and bound both small and great now watch this here's the scripture right here verse 19 and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and the armies gathered together to make war against him 
that sat on the horse and against his army. Wow. Mm, are you hearing this? So basically, when, when we see them with these missiles and all these submarines and all this stuff, they're actually preparing for Yahushua HaMashiach. <laughs> it's amazing. You see, they're going to come together to do this battle thing, but what happens in the middle of this, what's going to happen? Yahushua is going to show up in the sky, and when they see him, they're going to see him as he is. And they're going to say, oh my God. Have I seen this? And when they look up there, they gonna just open fire like crazy on him because they know all oh, he's coming to judge. He's coming to get us. He's coming to get us for all the sins that we have done. He's coming to bring recompense for all those that were slain, that we have slain. <laughs> so, you know, they are gonna be like, oh no. They gonna open fire in the heavens. They gonna open shoot missiles up there and everything. To try to stop the Mashiach from coming down here. But he's going to come in and they ain't going to be able to stop him. Mm, mm, mm. So when you see all this, just know that we're getting close. Scripture says, look up. Why? Because your redemption draw nigh. So when you see them gathering together, the, the river Euphrates have dried up to make way for what? The kings of the east. For what? Just the kings? No, the armies. It's for the armies of the kings of the east. And so they're coming to do this thing. And this is when it all going to take place. So it's getting close. When I see all these, uh, especially China and Russia. Because you know prophecy talks about God and Mega coming, right? And so we see all of that happening in these days. Russia, the prince in his land. <laughs> so it's coming to pass. It's coming to pass fast. So get ready. These prophecies, we talked about these prophecies, prophecies before. I did a video that's called Gog and Magog. I talked about that. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go see it. I'm going to put a, um, a banner at the end here or uh, uh, what is the end screen. So you'll be able to click on that and go and see that video if you, if you hadn't already seen it. But this thing is for real. It's coming to pass. And we need to be ready. We be ready mentally because some things gonna happen. Let me tell you the things that's gonna happen. Pay attention. The scripture tells you in Revelation chapter 12 that first of all, Satan is gonna pour his wrath out on Yah's people. And then just as Satan pours his wrath out on Yah's people, Yah's wrath come down too. So Yah, Satan's wrath is gonna start, then Yah's wrath is gonna start, right? And at the same time, Yah's wrath start, right? And it pours out on all the people. When his wrath destroy all these people, his wrath is actually going to destroy a good number of people before Yahushua Mashiach actually shows up in the cloud. By the time he shows up in the cloud, he's cleaning house of whatever's left. Woo! <laughs> Are you hearing me? That's the word. Now, people want to tell you that that ain't what's going to happen. But I tell you, look, search the scriptures for yourself. Okay? prove me right go to those scriptures right the ones that talk about him that his garments are going to be going to be dripping with blood I'm talking about the Mashiach look at all of these scriptures and know that this is what's going to happen okay he's going to come back and he's going to clean house that's right and so this is all the prophecies of the things that's going to come to pass and then we got two witnesses right who his plague, his plagues, and his wrath is going to come down, and the two witnesses are going to be speaking these things that's going to cause his wrath to come upon the earth. That's the scripture. So I want y'all to see this, right? It's in the word. Research it for yourself, okay? But I hope this lesson will let you see how close we are. And I don't know. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I will be totally surprised if we go another 10 years. And we don't enter into some of the stuff we see in here. We don't enter into the tribulation and some of these other things. I would be surprised. But notice, by the time this happens, the bride is already in the kingdom at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Mm. These are the things that must take place. It's there. It's in the scriptures, right? So all I'm saying to you is that 
The bride must get herself ready because we're getting close. Okay? The bride of Yahusha HaMashiach. Who is that bride? I'm going to tell you who that bride is. That bride is every believer and whether they be Gentile or Israelite that have been grafted into the Mashiach. The Israelite have to be regrafted in because he was broken off. And a Gentile can be grafted in. And what is grafted in? You got to be baptized in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach for the remission of your sins. And I did not say JC. I say in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. It must be the real name. Because if you look in the scriptures, it tells you that they were sealed with the name of the Father. Right? The, the, it tells you that in Revelations. And it also tells you that the 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 the, the, um, the virgins in, I think it's Ecclesiastes or it's um, Song of Solomon, where it talks about the virgins. It says, it says um, thy name is as oil poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. The virgins? The oil? The name is the oil poured forth? You know about the ten virgins, right? They gotta have that oil. They gotta have that name. Hallelujah. And so, it when people try to say otherwise, don't listen to that. Get baptized in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach for the remission of your, of, of your sins. Hallelujah. And you got to be born of the, not just of the water, but of the spirit. You got to be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. So seek the uh, Yahuwah for the Ruach HaKadosh, the indwelling of the spirit. Seek him for that. These are the true born again believers. These are the believers that Yahushua talked about. Because see the Christians, some of them may have the Ruach, some, only a few. I'm not saying all, I'm saying only a few may have the Ruach, but they don't have the truth. And just like the Israelites today, the true Israelites, I ain't talking about those over in Jerusalem. I'm talking about the true Israelites today. They know the truth about some things, right? But they need to seek the spirit, the Ruach. And so you gotta be well balanced. You gotta have both. He said true worshipers will worship me what? In spirit and in truth, right? That's the word. That's the word. Those are the believers that are going to be grafted into what? The body of Yahusha HaMashiach. Those are the believers that's going to be the bride. When Yahusha takes his bride to the marriage supper of the Lamb, those are the believers that's going to go to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And I tell you, I got plenty of scriptures to back that up and you know it, right? I won't say it if I don't have scriptures to back it up. I got the scriptures to back it up. Hallelujah. This is what's going to happen. So you make yourself ready. If you want to be a part of the bride of Yahusha HaMashiach, you better make yourself ready. Hallelujah. You better be born again. Hallelujah. Of the spirit and of the water. Hallelujah. So on that note, family, I want to tell you that I love you. Hallelujah. And shalom. Sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.